Okay, we're going to start off uh, by downloading Ventoy. Um, you will need that, and you will also need a USB drive, a gig minimum, uh, and you will also need an ISO. So first, we'll start off with Ventoy. You're going to go to ventoy.net or see the link in the description. Look for Ventoy 1.1.05 for Windows Zip. Click on that. Again, we're going for the zip file. It says your download will start shortly. Ventoy, Ventoy. Come here, extract all, extract. Ventoy, Ventoy um, to disk. All right, so once you have uh, Vento downloaded and open, you click on it. Vento 2 disk, right click, run as administrator, yes. We're going to go to USB disk, 32 gigs, right here. Install, yes, yes. Congratulations, Ventoy has been installed. All right. So what you're going to do now is go uh, and get your ISO file. Check the link in this description for uh, you're looking for Dell WIS 3040 custom operating system, Android 9. It, the link should take you to this website right here for Skynet. Skynet specializes in custom operating systems and accessories uh, for the Dell WIS. Now, the only one that works on the 8 gig model, if you have only 8 gig internal storage, you can only install Android. If you have 16 gigs, you could install um, Windows 10, Ubuntu, uh, Google Chromebook, you know, um, TrueNAS, Android TV, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, if you have the eight gig model, you can only do Android. If you have the sixteen gigs, go ahead and choose whatever you want. But today we're going to be doing the um, the Android. So you click here, and you go ahead. Okay, so it's ten dollars for the operating system, which is really good deal for an OS, especially when I've installed it on more than 100 devices. So I guess it cost me about, I don't know, 10 cents per device to get this OS installed. But it does not come with a serial number. You're going to have to purchase a separate serial number, but you are buying the distribution, um, the distro. So yeah, um, you go ahead and pay. Now, once you pay, I'm not going to show my uh, PayPal, but once you pay, you're going to get redirected to a download site, Android x86664. This is the correct one. You go up here, you click download. It'll tell you Google Drive can't scan the file for viruses. It's all right. And the download will start. Once the download's complete, you're going to go to that ISO, right-click on it, go to copy, and then you're going to go to your new disk. Your new disk is going to be called Ventoy. That's your USB disk you're going to boot from. And then you just paste it in there. After that's done, you're uh, basically done with the USB media creation to boot the operating system. Two.
We're going to go in the bias. We've got to change some settings in the bias. System configuration, USB configuration, enable all three. Security, we don't change anything here. Secure boot, we're going to disable that. This is very important, needs to be disabled. Performance, mm, you can keep all these values on. Power management, AC recovery, power on. When you lose power to the device, you just want the device to power back on. Um, what else do we have? Post behavior. We don't have to do anything on that. Um, virtualization support. Uh, you could turn that off because we will not be virtualizing anything on this operating system. Wireless needs to stay on. It's on. Maintenance. There's nothing we need to do in maintenance. We can apply the settings, apply, okay. And let's exit. Press F12. We're gonna boot to As you can see here, you see um, boot mode is set to UEFI, secure boot is off. This is exactly what we needed. And we're gonna boot to our USB drive. Once you boot to the USB drive, you get Android x86 custom. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and boot in grub2 mode. Android x86 installation so we're going to be installing the operating system to mmc blk1 as you can see there's four partitions you're just going to go ahead and select the biggest one right here and press ok which is the 12 gig Go OK, EX4, yes, formatting partition, yes, read and write directory, absolutely. All right, so what we're gonna do is run Android x86, run Android x86.
now we're at the setup screen as you can see you will receive some errors you can receive two two errors um it's ordinary it happens it will stop once you conduct your first update so we'll just close app close app and we want to start oh sorry wrong thing let's go back i clicked on the wrong wrong thing let's go back let's go back let's start go by the way um this device does not come when with internal wi-fi um so what we did is we installed an e external Wi-Fi adapter. Um, this Wi-Fi adapter is fully compatible with the Dell WIS and the Android operating system. You can click, uh, check our description at the bottom for a direct link to the Wi-Fi adapter. Um, it's actually cool. It has a long antenna, high gain, DBIs, so you can catch a real good signal. You should check it out. All right, so let's see if we could connect to this one. So I'm going to just uh, choose do not copy. If you want to, I guess, copy your apps and data, you may, but you might want to expand your internal storage also first beforehand so you have adequate space on your device. So I highly recommend you just skip that for now. You can do a recovery later. I went ahead and plugged in an Ethernet cable just to speed, speed up the process for the update. Um, you will continue to receive these errors. Chrome keeps stopping and uh, additional service keeps stopping also. Just uh, click close app. Setting date and time. More. Accept. Not now. Skip anyway. So you want to use quick step and you want to click always just for the first time. There you go. So uh, you want to go I guess you could scroll up. You have all these apps here. And then Google Play Protect is turned on. Configure issue with USB. Okay, so I'm going to teach you on how to expand your storage. So you go to, um, you see right here, how will you use this USB for extra tablet storage? For portable, we're going to use for tablet storage. So you go to tablet, format this USB formatting the USB. So this way, this way you actually extend 
um, your internal storage and you could actually um, uh, increase the capacity inside your device, which is really cool. You can go to Wi-Fi right here. Let's see. We have Wi-Fi, which is good. Let's scroll down. Do we have Bluetooth? I'm not sure if this device has Bluetooth in it. Oh, it does. Let's see. Pair new device. Fillable devices. Still scanning. But I guess it's not. I don't have any Bluetooth devices in this facility anyway. So, yeah. This is cool. Now, like I said before, this does work um, for the uh, the 8 gig and the 16 gig models. Uh, so uh, feel free to uh, check the description for the link to download the actual um, image file. And um, go ahead and like and subscribe and check out the rest of my videos. Now, if you do have a, uh, a a lock on your bias make sure to check the link in the description uh, for a vi video tutorial on how to remove that thank you